This is, this sucks. What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Sava Tech once again, and I have yet another how-to video. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to flash the new F2 BIOS onto the Gigabyte Aorus Master RTX 3080. Yes, I have a 3080. No, I don't like it. It, it has a ton of issues that we'll talk about in the review videos. So make sure you hit the sub button down below and the notification for those. But if you have the GPU and you're trying to flash the new BIOS to fix that fan curve, well, let's do it. So first things first, you're gonna go ahead and head on over to the official website. This is gonna be for revision one. Revision two is coming out soon and check this out. This is the disappointment. This is the disappointment. So here is version two. And as you can see, revision two has three eight pin PCIe powers. So basically what's happening uh, with this GPU in general is that over time, whether it's gaming, mining, whatever it is, it just starts dropping the power consumption down. And when it does that, it obviously significantly impacts your performance, both in gaming, mining, applications, everything, to the point to where it's kind of worse than the EVGA RTX 3070 I have. In fact, it'll drop it all the way from 450 watts total system power down to under 300 watts total system power after just like a few seconds. Now in gaming, in some cases it will last longer, but anyways, that's the problem we're dealing with. And today we are gonna talk about the solution, hopefully, and we will test and see if it does resolve it. So we have the BIOS here, but we're gonna do the full guide. So we're gonna delete that. So like I said, first things first, you're gonna head on over to the official Gigabyte website. You are going to click the support tab for your RTX 3080 Master 10 gig revision one. You're gonna scroll down to the BIOS files and you're gonna click download. At this point, it'll initiate the download. And then when it's ready, click the ellipses and click show in folder. Once you have it ready to extract, right click it and say extract all with the built-in Windows 10 compression tool. And then you're just gonna double click and open the file. You can double click here for this PDF that will give you all the steps and I'll also copy and put the steps down below. There are two BIOS files. You have F2A and F2B here and you have two BIOS to flash. So you have the silent mode and then you also have the performance mode. So you want to turn your PC off and make sure the BIOS switch is in the overclock position, which is what we are in right now. And then you're going to be flashing the F2A BIOS onto the overclock mode. So here's F2A, and then we're just gonna go ahead and double click it and run the file, the application. Windows is gonna prompt you. You're gonna click more info and click run anyway. And then yes. At this point, you will be presented with an option that says, are you sure you want to update your graphics BIOS? We're gonna go ahead and close Afterburner here. Close anything that has any hooks. I recommend doing the same. And then we are just gonna click yes. So at this point, we have been notified that it was a success and we're gonna reboot the system. All right, we're gonna get logged back in and then we're gonna go ahead and see if this resolved the issue. I'm highly doubtful that it did, unfortunately, and we will kind of show you guys exactly what's happening here. So if we open up hardware info, we're just gonna use a miner because it makes it happen as fast as possible. It happens in gaming as well, like I mentioned. So if you take a look here uh, and scroll down, we're gonna go down to the GPU, and then we have our GPU power here. So our next step, of course, is going to be running the miner. Games, miners, hopefully, one second. 
Alrighty, so right off the bat, you should be taking a look at the power. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. Start seeing it go up, 327 watts. You'll see that our hash rate is correct for a stock RTX 3080 at 86, 85 mega hash. And then closely watch this power. I hope it fixed it. As you guys can see here, the power has now dropped under 200 watts. And shortly here, you're going to see the hash rate drop down as well. Yep, down into the 70s. So this BIOS flash, unfortunately, did not resolve that problem. And it's pretty disappointing, unfortunately. We should be pulling a lot more power on a stock one, and we are not. And as a result, we are being robbed of performance right and left. There's how you flash the BIOS. Hopefully this issue will get resolved shortly with a new BIOS. I have very low expectations due to the fact that they added a revision to with a third eight pin power. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next Tuesday.